Every once in a while, a group of people will get together to solve a problem. And every once in a while, a group like the Sugar Beet Advancement Committee comes up with not just a solution, but a new way of solving problems. It's more than the growers with the sugar beet advancement program. Sure. It, it's a whole industry involvement. And we find if the industry is involved in setting the priorities, then what you do and take run with that really uh, draws support from the whole industry as a whole. Uh, in the sugar beet advancement program, uh, we have uh, support from not only the sugar factory, but the growers. We have industry support from some of the fertilizer people and even from some of the seed people that are on the committees. Uh, them combined with some of the university types uh, come together two or three times a year, uh, review what we're doing. They set priorities uh, prior to planning season, prior to the programming season on what's important to the industry and then from our perspective we take the ball and, and, and make it happen. Great. We was really struggling in the uh, mid-90s to get tonnage, which we need to make money. Uh, we was having stand problems and we didn't have any outside factors that were researching uh, sugar beets at that time. So around 97, <clears throat> sugar beet advancement started and that brought together uh, both sugar companies, both grower organizations and extension. And we've done a tremendous amount of research in all the problem areas that we faced at that time. But we have improved our tonnage significantly we have improved our stands significantly, and uh, we've been doing a lot of testing on different disease pressures and how to deal with them. One of the things I can imagine people might be concerned about with this is, uh, gee, if you have the industry so involved in identifying research it's, uh, and, and, and extension needs that it's going to be sort of reactive. In other words, what did we need to know last year? Um, it, it, have you found it to be that way or is it more forward thinking? I, 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 than that? I, think, I think it's the other way. I think it's it? forward thinking. Okay. Uh, certainly uh, we react to problems. Uh, every year there's a different disease or insect problem, but some of those are problems that have reoccurred and, and you don't need to work at that but there's always a new issue or a new problem that comes out so it's really a combination of both you certainly have to react to some of the old situations but no industry moves forward unless it's looking at new or developing problems out there and trying to get ahead of the head of the ball